Hi everyone, do you want to know how to make seriously delicious chicken tikka at home? Of course you do, that's why you came. Let's go to the ingredients. We have yogurt, plain full fat yogurt. We've got some ginger, some garlic and some chilies. Uh, we've got a lemon and we've got some spices here. We've got ground cumin, ground coriander, garam masala. We've got hot chili powder and we've also got Kashmiri chili powder. And then I've also got some chicken here. This is four chicken thighs, four boneless chicken thighs that I've cut up into pieces that are about, I would say maybe like three, four centimeter cubes. Doesn't have to be precise, um, just pieces because we'll skewer them later. So the first thing that we're going to do is, this is a way of tenderizing the chicken. It's a really great tip that I picked up from a Mother Jeffrey cookbook. What we do is we get the chicken, we put it in a bowl, and then, whoop, there, we get a skewer. Any skewer, a sharp knife will do if you don't have a skewer. And then we go in and we give it a good stabbing. So just stab the pieces. Once it's on the skewer when it's cooked, you're not going to see the, the holes through it, but it helps to get all the marinade in and it helps this tenderizing tip. I will say, if you use whole chicken pieces, like for example, if you use chicken drumsticks or chicken thighs with this marinade, that can also work fine, but you can just get a sharp knife and just give it a few slashes over the top. Um, you could also, I mean, if you've got this as well, you haven't got a skewer, you can use a sharp knife to give it a good prick here and there as well. That also works. But stabbing is a quick job for me. We're stabbed. Now, the tenderizing bit, what we do is we need some lemon. So I'm just going to cut this lemon in half. And then I'm going to squeeze half a lemon into the chicken. And then we put some salt in, give it a good stir, give it a good rub around and let it sit for 20 minutes before you put the marinade on. In the meantime, we'll start stirring all the marinade ingredients together. So while that is sitting for 20 minutes, we're going to make the marinade. That wouldn't even take us 20 minutes, but here we go. So in a bowl, we're going to spoon out some yogurt. We want five tablespoons of yogurt. So let's go one. And then I was so organized that I already measured out all of my spices. I'm just going to throw this whole lot in here. Some recipes will say you can use red food coloring, and that's what you might see in restaurants, for example. But I don't really use food coloring at home. The Kashmiri chili powder isn't actually hot. It is more for coloring than anything else. So it's not, it doesn't give you that bright, bold color that red food coloring does, but it does give you a reddish color. And it's quite nice if you have it. If you don't have it, it's optional. You can, you don't need to use it. The last thing, I blitzed up the chilies and garlic and ginger in my blitzer upper. And I'm gonna put all of that in here. Oops. So we mix all this together for the marinade. It's been 20 minutes, so we're going in with the marinade. We're gonna pour it right into the chicken. Now our chicken has got the marinade all over it. At this point, this should be marinated. I would normally leave it overnight in the fridge. But to be honest, I'm often, in fact, most of the time, I'm not that organized. I am desperately hungry a lot of the time as well. So sometimes I just cook it straight away or I take a shortcut and I just marinate for however long I have. Maybe it's one hour, maybe it's 10 minutes, that's fine. Today, I'm just gonna cook it straight away. So what we do next is skewering. You don't actually have to skewer. You can even just like put these pieces out on a baking tray to get it under the grill. I'm gonna skewer it because I have the skewers and I think it looks nice. It's quite a nice way to eat. So let's do skewering. I've got a pan that I've got ready and my skewer fits over the pan like this. So that means that the meat will hang off the skewer. And that's quite a nice way to grill it. I would just go back to the marinating point and say, if you did marinate it overnight, the results are significantly better. It's totally worth marinating if you can marinate and you can get yourself more organized than I am. What happens is the meat 
the chicken gets really, really tender. It melts in your mouth and the flavor goes all the way through and it's a lot more delicious. So now we're all skewered. Got four nice skewers here. And the final step before it goes into a hot, hot grill is we need to brush them with oil. So I've got some oil and I've got my little brush. And we're gonna dab. Very nice, now it's off to the grill we go. After six minutes in the grill on one side, take them out, flip them over on the other side, give the other side a brush of oil and then it goes back under the grill for six minutes and then we're done. Flipped, oil. Okay, so back to the grill. This has now been under the grill six minutes either side, so this is done. You can see all this nice smoke coming up. This is a very nice smell coming up here as well. I'm going to plate this now. Here's a finished dish, chicken tikka. You can have it with some sliced bit of onions. Also goes nicely with some uh, coriander and mint chutney as well, which I'll make for you one day. If you do give this a try, let me know how you get on in the comments. I'd love to know. If you like this video and you want to see more, then don't forget to click subscribe.